Hi and welcome to this video which is about swollen lug nuts or nuts on your fort. I'd never come across this problem before um, and thought it was quite amazing really. So on a fort there's a chrome cover on the wheel nuts and obviously the part underneath starts to rust and then swells the cover up. So then a normal 19mm socket won't fit on it. Now what you can buy is one of these, which is a 19.5mm socket. And the idea being is that will go over the swollen nut. And there is also an alternative that I'd seen on the internet, which was to use a hole saw. So the logic is you put the hole saw over and cut the chrome cover off. Now this is a 24mm, which I thought would have been the right size. Um, and it just clears the outside of the nuts when it's got no chrome cover on. But with the chrome cover on, 24mm doesn't go on. It, it, it would seem to be the right size. But anyway, so in this video, I have a go at using one of these to remove them. And one of these. And the results are in the video. And make of it as you will. So anyway, hope you like this video. And if you could like and subscribe, that would help my channel and have a good weekend. So let's get started on those swollen wheel nuts. So I'll briefly demonstrate here that obviously it is a 19 millimeter socket that should be used. So that, that one isn't actually swollen. So there we go. So 19 is our sort of datum there. And for the locking wheel nut, Again, it's a 19 millimeter, so no problem there. So now if we start looking at the other wheel nuts, so we've got one without the chrome cover, and that's easily removed with an 18 millimeter socket. And then we're left with the two swollen ones. So I'll try that, that's a 19. And as you can see, there's no way that's gonna go on there. You'd be in real trouble if you were at the side of the road and you had to take this wheel off. So we'll try this, which is the Laser 8014. So if we use the other end, that's a 19 and a half millimeter. And as you can see, it sort of fits. I'm not banging it on there too hard because I just want to sort of see what it's like. So yeah, it does get it off. And obviously if you were to hammer that on it would most definitely work, though you have got the challenge of then getting that swollen wheel nut out of that socket. So, okay, so we'll move on to the hole saw idea. So we'll take the drill bit out, and what I use is a 24 millimeter hole saw. So this is a size I would have thought would have been correct. Um, so let's have a go at this. I've speeded most of this up. So it seems to be just skimming the edges of the um, chrome cover, which is not what I intended. I was hoping it was just going to take those edges off and thereby the, the whole chrome cover would literally fall off in one go. Um, but that's not what happened. So there's one without the chrome cover. So let's see if, how easy this is to get off. So already I think this is sort of going a bit sort of um, pear shaped as it were. Because this is turning into a little bit of a mess I think. Especially with having to start using chisels and things like that. And obviously if you slip you're going to damage your alloy wheel. So here is the chrome cover. So we're gradually starting to peel it off. So it's a little bit of a game, this. Um, but I think 24mm is probably the wrong size. But I think the next size down is 22mm. Um, and that might be a bit too tight. But clearly 24mm is not going to make your life any easier. I mean, when I was looking on the internet, they mentioned a one inch or a 25 mil. So I'm not quite sure what I've done wrong here to get the results I have. 
So here we are. So this is the laser tool again. These are made under different names. So it doesn't need to be a laser one. There's, they'll all be made probably by the same company. But anyway, so the wheel's off. So let's now have a go at a really swollen wheel nut using that laser 8014 tool. So let's just confirm there, 19 mil clearly won't go on there. So this time I'm actually going to hammer this on so that we get a really good purchase on there. So as you can see, that's gone on nicely. Um, but like I said, if you're at the side of the road, you've got to better get this um, nut back out of the socket. So that could be um, a problem because that was obviously now really wedged into there and took a bit of a game to try and get that back out. So I don't know how you do it at the side of the road. So if we look at the two, we can see the one where I use the hole saw on the right, um, and that's completely messed up. I think I've obviously drilled too far and destroyed it. So anyway, let's have a look at removing the chrome jacket. Okay, so for this, I'm going to use the Dremel, and as you'll see, probably make another hash of this as well. Uh, so I was cutting straight, and then in hindsight I realised I should have cut at an angle um, straight across the flat of that nut, because that way it would give an exit for the cutter disc um, for you to peel back. So admittedly I got the angle wrong there, but as you can see you're still going to be playing around with this thing, um, trying to get the chrome cover off. So, I'm not sure this design of wheel nut is actually one of the best, because I've never come across this on any other car. Um, is a shiny wheel nut really worth this? But anyway, I, th I think in hindsight, what I would have done is use the Sealy, not the Sealy tool, um, use the laser tool. Sealy probably do make one as well as under the exactly the same um, but I think I would have used the laser tool removed them all and I think just order a new set of nuts I mean this is such a palaver unless you get the hole saw that actually cuts exactly right and just removes it all nicely without that damage um, and then you just use an 18 millimeter socket that is the other option um, but I didn't have much luck with this so anyway, so here's some reference photographs um, that you can pause to view for longer if you wish to. Um, if you're in the market for some of this stuff, so here we go, this is what I used. And like I say, this will be sold under different names as well. But I think if you do try a whole saw, you probably want to perhaps try a 22 mil or something, or 23 so anyway, you've been watching how to make a right mess out of your Ford Focus wheel nuts. And thank you for watching and supporting my channel. Please like and subscribe. This video was filmed and edited by me, Mark Savage, in May 2023. And I can be found on Instagram and Facebook as Coats and Gators.